Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. You know, today I thought that I would be sad and not even sad. Today I thought that I would be a little bit more sorrowful, right? I thought that I would be in this place of, oh my God, why is this happening to me? How come this is happening at the wrong time? But because I've been preparing myself for this energy, y'all, like I'm going to be honest with y'all today. Um, I don't want to show my face because I got like this eyebrows stuff. Look, if you can see my eyebrows. I have this stuff on my eyebrows. Um, but first of all, how are y'all doing? I feel for you, my little babies. I feel for y'all out there. Okay, like that's me sending energy to you in a hurry to let you know that we're still connected and you're still on the right path. And I'm here to support you. Um, I definitely think that, like I said, I thought that I would be sorrowful. I thought that I'd be sadder that I'm in this position that I am in now. I want to give you guys a gift today. My name, my real name is God's gift. And, um, well, God's gift of light. That's what like my real name is. And I think that you guys deserve a gift. I think that we've all been in this place of not knowing what's going on. And a lot of you guys have been in this energy of worrying about people outside of yourself. Everyone's like, worry about yourself. Stop worrying about me. That's the number one way how to get away from community. That's the number one way how to not work together and be cohesive. That is the opposite way of working in like humanity. And I think a lot of people, I'm going to put a lot of people to rest. Let me just, people out there who are technology and you guys are science, you guys are fucking kick ass because you help us live and you give us a lot of resources on life to make life easier. However, what you're promoting isn't usually organic and organic meaning natural, naturalism, like the laws of like the universe. You guys abide, you guys go against the laws of the universe. And then once you guys find out what creates certain, certain objects or sceneries or like whatever matter that you can actually like, scientifically back it up you try to make another version of it and one of these versions that you guys are putting into our reality is other people like artificial beings and i'm not saying they don't make our lives easier in some way because of course we need like microwaves and ovens and but we don't need them to be sentient you know we don't need them to be alive we need to keep them in the place that they're at because that's what they were born for they were not born because if that was the case then they would have been born with the souls we'd be able to have sex excuse my language we'd be able to have sex with the refrigerator and it'd be happy half human half refrigerator so i don't appreciate the dna that you guys are taking from us and utilizing it for your own like inhumane creations i don't i don't i don't i don't double card um but yeah i wanted to give you guys a gift um and i'm gonna do my prayer now so it can't be interfered with I'm going to be pulling from two decks today. I'm going to be, this is going to be a very rapid read um, for you. If this is for you, if it's not, you know, just do your best to take the messages out of what I'm saying. Um, the people who are going to understand this message, it's going to make sense for you. I have some cards here that I wrote myself and I also have my master tarot deck here as well. Um, so let's get started. Heavenly Father, Ancestors, Spirit Guides, and Protective Angels, I call you in today on, on this reading. I'm going to be sharing a message with the collective that I need you to make sure it gets through to them and received well. I need you to cover this reading with your protection from all four ends of the earth and the universe to protect this message from any listening ears that may try to interfere with this plan or getting this message to the listeners or interfering with how I read my cards and your messages. I'm reaching to the ultimate, the most ultimate high to re give you this message and to give you this gift. Thank you everyone for who's watching. And if you're not a part of my soul tribe or not a part of um, making this world uh, a better place to live in, um, you know what your reasonings are, why you're here, you're not welcome. Um, and thank you so much for the abundant substance and prosperity you give me on an everyday basis. I appreciate you. I love you. I give back to you. I treasure you. I adore you. And I thank you for everything that you give me. And with that being said, if you're not called upon this reading, you are not welcome. Amen. 
So you guys, I want to give you a gift of what the enemy is doing. This is for you. This is specifically for you. Everyone's been in this place of wanting to do something better. This message isn't going to make sense to you because I'm making sure that it's going to be construed as I'm saying it. Um, so you can't get the message out if you are here to car cause harm on anybody else or to be a cross watcher. Um, I want to say to you, my regular watchers, my little cocoa beans, my little babes. Okay, I want to tell you guys that I have a message for you and um, let's get into the enemy's mind. I'm going to tell you what they're going to do and how you guys can protect yourselves. I'm going to tell you what their weaknesses are. I'm going to tell you where they're at in their spiritual journey. Um, I'm going to tell you what they're doing right now and what they're planning to do. I'm going to let you know um, what goals they want to achieve. I'm going to let you know if they're able to achieve them. I'm going to let you know everything that you want to know that needs Needs to be told to you okay because i don't think that it's fair that these people are treating you this way and just thinking that they'll have no um consequences and it doesn't matter i i know a lot of people like to say like oh well you know i feel a certain type of way and you shouldn't make me feel a certain type of way or you respect how i feel you can get your point across without hurting the other person's feelings and if it's already a heated situation and you realize that you're being um judged uh, and you realize that you feel judged or you feel like this might, you know, your intentions might have went the wrong way. Um, you have a choice to change it. And a lot of these people, that's why they're not changing it is because their their intentions are to hurt you. Their intentions are to protect themselves. And of course, it comes from a wounded pay place, but it also comes from a place of wanting to hurt you as well. You don't always have to self-sacrifice to make others feel good. But most of the time, if you're already pretending anyways, why not pretend a little bit longer if this is somebody that you say you care about? So I'm not going to give an introduction as if, if it's a love reading, work reading. Just take what resonates. And I I love you guys and appreciate you guys so i'm gonna cut my deck and it's a different scenery today because um i wanted to get more in like the light i thought it was going to be sunny today but i didn't check the i never check the weather to be honest i'm not gonna lie to you people are like you don't check the weather no what did we do before the weather came my thing is like i'm not going to rely all the time on social media to or not social media but technology um to give up my senses all my senses like my primal senses like not saying that i have primal senses of what i what i know the weather is going to be like but i think that if i'm more in tune with the earth i could probably catch on more i know the sun's going to be up every day i know the sun starts setting at a certain time around the year so let's get into it i'm sorry i'm talking a lot um i want to talk about First of all, let me confirm. I'm confirming to you guys. Let's confirm who the person is in your life, okay? You already know who it is, but I'm going to confirm to you so you know who it is. Please confirm this person for the collective, please, spirit. Most high, ultimate most high. Please, please bring this person. I need a uh, indication of who this person is. Temperance. So you're always having to level with this person. This person, you always have to bring balance you're always the person that's bringing balance to their life you're always the person that's creating like the balance look how like the acrobats of trying to balance these cups and stick your toe in the water to make sure that the cups have enough water like you need enough water you're trying to pour some water over here so i will say that this person is always out of balance with you okay so that's why you even came to this reading anyways this person's always out of balance with you and you're always trying to keep the balance how are they trying to keep the balance how does this how do you guys i want to okay so i'm also hearing that the other person feels like you know the we're gonna call them the enemy in this the enemy feels like or the misunderstood whichever it is you guys know who it is for you but they what they also feel like they're the one that's creating the balance but if you're creating balance then what's all this in the background i'm tapping into their energy first i was saying you guys um, and identifying the person this person feels like they're always the person that's creating balance and they're always the person that has to be the saving grace and the guardian angel of other people and if that's the case then why does it look like this back here who are you you're over here pouring water and cups to yourself 
there's people back here most likely that you that they didn't even think about the enemy didn't even think about these people back here they only thought about okay i need to make sure that my cup is filled and you need to make sure that your cup is filled so they think that they're giving good advice but it's really destructive advice and that's why their life looks like this i think that if you were if your advice is good you would see results in a positive way and not just in your life but the people around you that's how you really know if you're creating positivity okay so why does this person feel like they're the person that balances everything why does this person feel like and you know what i'm gonna use this deck because i'm gonna give you guys real answers like i said um why does this person feel like they're the ones that hold on this was like these are some of these are like turned over. So give me a second, y'all. Okay. Why does this person feel like they're always the person creating balance? We already know why, because obviously there's trauma wounds when they were younger that they haven't looked at. And they probably were the person that had to take care of everybody who had to be balanced. I have a couple hearts here. I have a couple cards. Are guilt and shame the same? Okay, you can't see that because it's backwards. I also have teenage fever. I also have, I think there will be a perfect time. I just don't know when. I also have, I'm in love, but I can't do this anymore. Okay, I also have overreacting. All right, and then another one, trust your gut. Okay, and new career path. So I'm letting you know right now that this person feels this, they feel like, they feel guilty that they have to be the person to pretty much like let this connection go bad. They feel guilty because all of their past trauma and everything that they've been like in and everything that they're going through. And it was 1144 when I said that. Um, they feel guilty and they feel shameful because not that they just couldn't rise to the occasion, but things that happened to them when they were a teenage, like teenage fever, that's a little weird to me. I feel like as a teenager, it's like this person hyper fixates their life over when they were younger and how they were represented as they were younger. So let me give you an example, you guys. This person was a different person when they were younger. I'm getting obviously like sports. They were in sports. They were, you know, top of their game. Everybody wanted to be around them. Every they, But they didn't cause any disharmony in people's lives. They were just around. They were a social butterfly. They could hang out in this group. They could hang out in that group. They mind their own business and no one really cared about them. So people looked over them. But when they did have conflict with people, they handled it like a teenager. And this is because, and this is, let me keep going. And so because they handled it like a teenager, when they were a teenager, obviously you can handle things like a teenager. When you're uh, in college and when you get older and as a young adult and you handle things like a teenager, people look at you differently. And the only people that aren't going to look at you differently are people who are still in that same mindset of thinking that like, arguing is okay taking it all the way there is okay putting out all your emotions on, on somebody is okay and i feel like this person is trying to be a better person but the fact that like there's two things it's the fact that they haven't got over a lot of the things that happened to them in the past and they blame you for it and they're because they, they blame you for it because you choose to bring it up and you're not choosing to bring it up. You're just having regular conversations and it's bringing up these feelings that they have felt in the past. And then another thing is they overreact and it says, trust your gut, trust your gut about this person. Like they overreact and they act like a kid and they say that they're creating balance, but there's no positivity. I just gave you guys the example of if you think that you're doing something positive and your advice is good, you, be, you should be able to see results. And you should be able to see, and the results should affect people in a way where it's harmonious for everybody. And I'm not crazy because that's how the world works, right? Every time that you guys had a situation or something was going bad and the choice was on you, there's usually two choices that you can make. And I don't mean a situation where you're saving yourself and you got yourself into some bullshit like going to jail. I mean, like usually if you're having a friend problem and you're talking to your friends and you're like, oh my God, like I didn't know that that was happening in my friend group. Like, what am I going to do about that? Do I confront 
up the person or do I just keep pretending like I don't know and get more information or do I just stop hanging out with everybody? This person would this person would give people advice and just be like, oh, well, I gave them advice and just be like, let them go and be like, okay, well, I gave you the advice that you shouldn't. And I think that is a good trait for somebody to have, but it's some, this person has poor communication skills. Like the fact that they lack vocabulary, they're just saying, oh, I don't think you should do that because people don't do that. To somebody who's very adamant about making a decision, you guys, like if I was very adamant about making a decision about killing somebody, I'm not saying that I will off somebody, I don't know, whatever, take back what I said in this video. I don't know if my video is going to get taken down, but you guys get it. If I wanted to off somebody and I was very adamant about it and someone's like, I just don't think you should do that because that's not a good idea. Like that's this person's energy. It's, it's, it's teenager. It is, they're indecisive. They don't trust their gut. This new career path that they're on potentially, you know what I'm saying? Like this new career path is making this person feel like they can't trust themselves and that they're not capable of taking care of themselves. So the fact that they think that everything is balanced in their life and they're coming in with this temperance card and saying, well, I'm the, I'm the person that creates balance everywhere. It's just like, you only create balance here and that's it. You don't create balance everywhere. You don't create balance at your job. That's why things are still going left. And I'm, I mean, you, you guys, we're talking about them. This is the enemy's energy. So remember, I'm telling you everything that you need to know about them. Um, And again, this could be for me too, but the fact that it's not, I, you know, because I feel like someone's going to watch this video and they're going to be like, oh, you know, she's reflecting. This is stuff that's happening about her. I bet you right now, if you had a, if you were bold enough to come have a conversation with me, none of this, some of it might reflect, but a lot of it, I can take it and accept it and change my behavior and agree with what you're saying and agree to disagree if I need to. This person that I'm talking about, they do things like, okay, well, since you want to win, since you want to be, you know, they just say outlandish things because they have nothing else to say. They have nothing positive to say. So they just say outlandish things. Um to get a reaction out of you. You know what I'm saying? So this person is trying to create balance in an area where you're right. It is balanced in their life. And that doesn't help anybody but them. And that doesn't serve anybody but them. And if that's the type of energy that you guys would like on this earth, I think that that is why we are paying more bills. I think that's why we are unhealthy. I think that's why kids are dying and being molested. I think that's why adults are being molested and killed. Um, and guess who's doing it, you guys? The motherfucking men. I'm not saying that women aren't doing it, but yeah, let's go ahead and look at the statistics on um, men and them killing people and hurting people. And yeah, so there's actual evidence on um, there's actual evidence on killings and murders and divorce rates. And most of the time when you talk to um, the police officers or the deputies or the detectives or the even the therapists who are working like in these situations, a lot of the time they can tell you it's because the men's lack of sensibility. It's the men's lack of carelessness and it's the lack of insensitivity. It's insensitive. So the lack of sensitivity um, and empathy, literally like they men work like robots. They're like, oh, well, that's not how I feel. And I get it. We have been conditioned to be that way for women. We've been conditioned to be in this space where we need to tiptoe around male's feelings. We should be like, how are you? What's happening? And oh my God, sweetie, baby. And men literally run away from their feelings. They're running away from their problem and they're telling us to tiptoe around the problem like it's not there. And we're saying, oh, well, this is how I was raised. Well, grow up. You, you know what I'm saying? Everyone looks at their parents and they say, I don't want to be like my parents. You're being exactly like your parents by not choosing better, not being a better communicator, not getting information to better yourself. And you people, I think that even myself have to go through these lessons and we deserve the fucking lessons if we don't want to choose better. So this person, and I'm letting you guys know right now. Ooh, spirit. Next. What's this person going through right now? because they're trying to play it off this person's playing it off like everything's cool and they're dying on the inside um 1919 when i say that okay end beginning or my bad beginning end beginning end um knight of pentacles 
this person's like what are they doing? They're waiting to send a message. Um, they're waiting to get their courage together so they can initially make a decision and give me more information because the decision, they're waiting to send a message. They obviously want to come to you, but they're waiting. Um, they want to give, like this message is like a pentacle. Like I said, I think it's a message for sure. Like they want to send a text message. They don't want to have the conversation. They want to send it over text. Um, Tell me about this message. What is this message going to say? And what are they deciphering on the inside? What ultimately do they want to do to the collective? Do they want to hurt you guys? I touch myself to your videos and pictures. I lead, you follow. Mm, this is tricky energy, you guys. So I'm guessing that this person wants, they, they want you to get in line. They want you to, they want you to pretty much like with this, one, I touch myself to your videos and pictures. You haven't gave this person some in a while or you guys haven't been on the same page in a while. Um, and so they want you to get on board with what's happening so they can get back in line. They want to send you a message that's going to make you, they they're, they want to send you a message that's going to provoke your energy to submit to them so they eventually could get what they want. This person's not with you because of love. This person um, is with you because again, I heard the dude that I'm talking to said that it was transactional for me. And I said, you know what, sweetie, it is, yeah, it is transactional. And I was like, no, it's not transactional. But the reason why I felt it wasn't transactional was because I wasn't getting back what I put in. So that's not transactional. And so I, he told me it was transactional and I was just like, mm, yeah, it's not, I, I hear what you're saying, but it's not transactional because if it was, I would be getting the things that I want in return that I, for the energy that I'm putting in. So if I put in love, I should receive love and that's just not what it is. So this is at the bottom of the deck. I'm a master manipulator. You haven't caught on yet. So I'm telling you guys, I'm revealing all of their secrets. And under there, you make me so happy. So this person loves manipulating you. They want to eventually get, get back into your pants. They think this is something that just happens once a month. And then you guys go back to whatever. Um, I'm letting you know now, obviously, that they're a manipulator. And I would like to know their next move. Because they haven't made it spirit, you know what's destined. And again, I have to expose this person. I need, this is my powers, you guys. Like, this is like my magic. I'm, I'm exposing my magic to y'all. But no, this is like, I don't do tarot card readings for myself. I just am a very good observer when it comes to body language, energy, eyes i'm like i uh what is it head shoulders knees and toes knees and toes i just have my own um experience what's the word that i'm looking for i'm like lost for words please give me the words i'm being worked up because this person's energy like they're oh they're ready to they're they need to make a move like this person feels they don't feel calm on the inside they don't feel calm on the inside i don't know if it's rage or what but um with the knight of pentacles it does look like that they're waiting to send a message to you and um they want you to get in line and they want you to fall in line with how you're acting like they're like they want you to be like oh my god like i'm so sorry i want to save this i want i want to make this work i want us to work um what are they initially afraid of? Tell me. What what is this person afraid of? What is their fears? Tell me what their fears are. And if you're the collective and um you're trying to get fear so you can manipulate this person, yeah, you about to hear this message wrong. It ain't for you. Okay. So this person is afraid of the future. I have the two of, two of wands and the eight of swords. So this person feels like there's no hope in the future. It feels like they're walking in a trap in the future. They feel like you're putting them in a trap. They feel like you're manipulating them. They feel like everything that you're doing is against the forces of everything that they're doing. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, that could be the case because if they're trying to cause harm to people and they just want to stay out the way so they can collect their information and just live a prosperous life, that is exactly why the black community is suffering. That's why black men try to say, oh, it's hard over here. Duh, bitch, you left. 
you left the community. You're leaving it to other men. Men keep leaving situations because it's hard knowing that if they were to just come together and just be good people, you guys would be able to make everybody happy. You make everybody feel safe. You make everybody, you know, everybody's a part of this community. But the fact that I really feel like they say that women divide like men because we don't understand men. It's the fact now that we're doing the same things that men are doing and men cannot understand that and be like, well, why can't you do this and why can't you do this i work just as hard as you bro i'm expected the same type of title at your job at my job i also have to put in efforts and make up for people's mistakes at my job as well and then i have to come home to a man who's insensitive and not care about how my day was besides oh how can i help you and then even when i say could you do this for me later on in an argument now you're saying that I you're doing more for me than I was for you because I had a bad day. Can you guys get this person's energy? This person feels like they're being they've been walked into traps their whole life because they think that life should be easier for them. What? And that's crazy to me. Life is hard for everybody. Life does not <laughs> okay. It's like black people, it's like um so yeah let's get inside this person's head so they're fearful that the future is not going to change and they're not going to get what they want um can i be a little bit more specific what exactly are they want what do, what do they want okay it says i'll risk it all for you baby will they though they won't and again, this person's a manipulator, so that's what they feel because they're like, I feel like I am risking it all for you. But when it actually comes down to it, they save themselves. Literally, we found out already that this person will save themselves. They will not choose you when it comes down to you and them. They don't believe in self-sacrifice. Look, there's an alarm. Is that my car? Okay, look, that's not... look. Look, this person believes in self-sacrifice, doesn't believe in self-sacrifice. They believe in sacrificing other people to get to where they need to be. Tell me more about this person's energy. What do they, um, what else do they fear? Ooh, what else do they fear? Yeah, get to the deep depths of their subconscious. Ooh, look, they fear separation. So they really want to be with you, y'all. I'm telling you, like, the spirit is letting me know that this person is all talk, no bark. Or all bark, no bite. And what I mean by that is, like, they'll, they're a master manipulator. They manipulate everybody. Um, whoever raised them, raised them in a way to where... They also lived in an unsafe environment, so they had to get things where they needed, and then they would bring it home and be like, all right, you guys, this is what I got. It's literally like they lived in like the slums in the hood, and the only way that I know that, what this energy feels like, is because I also used to live in the slums in the hood. I literally stayed in a trap house. Um, when I was in New York, I stayed with roaches. Even when I stayed with my family, like we had to like share beds and sleep on the couch. Um... And I'm not saying that that's like slums, but it's like what makes it slums is like how you guys create community and love in your house. And if it's always some um, scamming ass like, oh, yeah, well, you know, we only got $30. So we about to da 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 da. OK, yeah, you can go use the $30 on weed and then nobody eats for the night or you can spend it on food. And I felt like this person was around people who would spend their money on weed and they would have to starve together, enjoying doing the things that they want. And I'm not saying that that's not a life you can live, but as you get as you get more into adulthood and you don't have to live like that anymore, you have to think that other people don't like living in the slums. Like if you were struggling, if you if you start to experience better and this feels good, don't bring the bad habits of what you used to do into the, a good place because it's, look what you're doing. And I, I hope that they see this message because it's almost like I'm talking to them collective. It's almost like I see this person trying to make the right decision and that's what these two cards are showing. They don't know which is the right decision because they don't see any way out. They don't see any light at the end of the tunnel. And tell me why, tell me why 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 is karma being brought on them so hard 
like this person's in confusion and you know what it was is because they kept you in confusion they kept you in a place where they just wanted to string you along and every day they act like you didn't know what was going on that they didn't know what was going on and how you were um benefiting their life and you trying to be nice to them it was something that they just felt like just was ingenuine like this person tell me more about what they're experiencing this person's experiencing karma and the reason why i say that is because like i was like i was expecting a sunny day today so that's how i know and it's raining so like that's how i know that something is happening where this person is experiencing their karma because usually i'm not saying that i can control the weather but i was like oh okay yeah this is what's happening tomorrow i had a very clear message strip club why is this person experiencing i've been seeing strip club come out for a very 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 long time i'm gonna put this over here and I think that this person may have went to the strip club without you knowing or did something um, and genuine without you knowing because like what the moon called there. I, you guys, there was a moon. I did a reading. Y'all didn't even know. I can't even feel you in right now. But it's like this person did something in the dark that is about to come. Like they're doing everything they can impossible for, for it not to come to the light. Please tell me what it is, spirit. Please tell me what these homemade cards these cards that are written with my with my hands and my soul and my spirit please give me an understanding of what this person is going through what is the karma that they're experiencing at this moment okay right I feel safe around you. I'm going to put these back though because it was a whole stack that came out. But we did get some. I ignore my intuition to get the things that I want. Okay. Your past exes make me jealous. Okay. I'm numb. Okay. We're tapping into this person's energy. Let's get into it. I'm like, let me move my lid. Let's get into it. This person, definitely, you you already seen the cards. I already read them to you. I'm going to read them to you again. I ignore my intuition to get the things that I want. Your exes make me jealous. Your past exes make me jealous. I'm numb. Okay, so I said, what karma is this person experiencing? They're experiencing how before you guys used to be, you know, I'm guessing that you guys, I don't know. This is everybody's story. God damn it. I don't know why, but this is the story for everybody in the relationships. This person has done something bad to you and not bad. Let me, let me, excuse me, recorrect myself. This person's done something to you in the past where it made you feel insecure. It made you feel like you couldn't trust them. You still try to give them the benefit of the doubt and try to see that they're a good person and try to see if, you know, Oh, you know, like this person says that they love me. They would never put me through that. And the fact that they did and they didn't even look back and they ignored their intuition just so they can have peace of mind at the end of the day. This person is going through the motions. They're ignoring their intuition because there's certain things that they want. They just want to get throughout the day. So they're ignoring hitting you up, checking to see if you're okay, being sensible, being empathetic, being just generally just a good person and a nice person. They're not even being a nice person. So they're ignoring their intuition. And the karma is they think that you're cheating. They think that you're around people and entertaining them. And they think that they think that you are doing it because they're lacking okay collective they're lacking an area so that's why they think that you're doing it again i'm exposing this person um also they're numb they can't feel anything so it doesn't matter what you say or do to them they're not going to be able to understand what is going through what's going on in your head they don't understand what's going on in their head they don't understand nothing right now they are confused they don't know why this is happening how it could happen they thought that they were prepared why are people being mean to them why are people judging them they didn't have to talk to me like that and guess what they did collect collective my babies they didn't have to talk to you like that 
They didn't have to handle you like that. And they did. And God does not play around about you. God does not care if this person has a lot of money, if they're uh, the Pope. They don't care who this person represents on this earth in the spirit realm. If you don't do what you need to do, that's why we have this whole thing of divine guidance and divine protection and chosen ones. And we had kings and queens. They had the deliverance. They had the understanding. They had the knowledge. They had the perseverance. They had the resistance. They had everything because that's why I keep telling people there's a difference between superstars and regular stars. Like you can be great at something, but they're superstars for a reason. Like we have to stop acting like we go through this life and we don't use words for a certain reason. Your name isn't what it is supposed to be for a certain reason. We don't have dates and seasons here. Why certain things have been hidden from us. Why there's new information being recovered. I think that you guys need to stop playing so much in this let me let me be real specific because I love you guys and I love you collective, but stop being so naive when it comes to the reality. And myself too, I'm talking to myself too, but I feel like you guys are so naive when you're like, if, if someone's playing in your face, there's a difference between you holding like a space for them so they can share, but these people are playing in your face and you see that they're playing in your face. But this person's karma is literally coming out and showing us that like, you can't play with you. God don't play about you, okay? All right, now I wanna see, um, we're going back to this deck. I wanna see, cause we already see that their karma, their karma is everything that has been done to you. Everything that they did to you is being done to them. Everything that they didn't care about, about work for you, and they thought that they could solve it, that they could fix it, and that they could be better, it's happening to them. Um, let me see, people that have kids and they're watching this, People are now saying, people are now starting to realize that they're not a good baby mom or they're not a good baby dad. And they're not somebody that, you know, like the veil, this is what's happening to them. It's almost like the veil that's being lifted, like their mask is being lifted in front of people that they didn't think would see their mask. And it's not even that. It's not that it's lifting. It's that it's two things. It's two things that are happening because two things can be true at the same time, right? So what's happening is this person is trying to hold this mask on so tight to their face that nobody can see it. It's literally like a second skin. Like when I say that you'd have to peel this fucking like mask off, like that it's not budging, you guys would be so surprised that the people that they're around are like, why the fuck is this guy wearing a mask? Everyone's confused. Everyone is, everyone can see that their mask, it's almost like um, they showed up to a Halloween party and the, they showed up to a Halloween party and the, um, and the theme was like safari and it was like desert safari woo yeah that's what like the vibes of the party was and they decided to show up as a whale and everybody's like did you get the theme of the party did you understand like what the objective was did you understand what the plan was like did you what are you not getting here? So they're like, okay, whatever. He's the fucking whale. Let's see what the whale does. And as they're going along, they're like, now things are way too awkward. Like people are looking at you. So my, my, I guess that was a poor um, analogy for like the story. But this person is, start, people are starting to see this person for who they are versus like the great worker that they put forward. Because a lot of the times, you have to if for you to be a phenomenal worker and for you to be a superstar there has to be a, a, a certain level of accountability there also has to be a certain level of understanding like people on an emotional basis of why you feel like things are right you can't just go by the books you can't by the be go by there's not a code of ethics that you can go by that's an actual book it's something that you have to experience from people and notice that there's a wide range of emotions and people are going to feel various of ways. And if you're not okay with that, you're not in the same arena as some of the people that can't handle the pressure. And that's where this person's coming from, okay? So um, let's get more into... Ooh, it's heavy, y'all. When I say that... Ooh, 
when I, I'm like, I'm exhausted from it. Cause this is like, damn, like, it's like this person can't get a break. This person can't get a break. They can't get a break. And you know what? I'll tell them what's going to stop. What's going to bring balance in this person's life. Okay. I'm going to let you guys know too. Because I know they're going to watch this video. What brings balance into this person's life? What will bring balance in this person's life? What will be brown? Bring, yeah. What will bring balance to this person's life? Moving forward. And moving forward with what? The decisions that they're making from living in the past, from living in the trauma, from thinking that they're the, the, the greatest person because they've never hurt anybody's feelings. They don't even know if they've hurt in anybody's feelings. The fact that they probably don't show up, like my thing is like they think that they haven't hurt anyone's feelings, but the fact that they don't reach out and they don't call and they don't check up on people and they don't, they just don't, that hurts people as well. So I think this person like, what's going to help them is moving forward thinking that like okay i'm not that person in the past but my thing is for you to move forward you just can't move forward if you're so tightly like tied with your traumas in the past you can't just move forward that's not something that happens i think that you have to um yeah i'm not helping them out y'all so this is for y'all they're caught in the dark right now they feel like they can see the pinnacles it's like they're looking for the pinnacles they're looking everywhere but inside this church for the pinnacles and guess what you guys you guys are the church you guys are the people that can save them but guess what don't save them because when they have the chance to save you they rolled right on by and so what do you need to do you need to sit in your space feel yourself love yourself and when they do come back to you because remember i told you i i lead you follow i touch myself to your videos and pictures like this person obviously reminisces and tries to get you to have like some type of sort of sexual primal energy they try to tap into your primal like energy but you've already passed that phase i think there's a phase of you being like um what is it like animals outside i don't know but you have like a stage of you like being outside like a wildebeest and then having like a consciousness and then like moving on that consciousness and that person is still like in that primal mode of like fight or fly i need to eat what i kill i think that that's a great energy for conquering the world um but no offense unless this message is for everybody so i hope like eventually this message finds the people who are very arrogant and they need to be humbled unless you're trying to be the president of like the universe or the world or um even america or even the mayor in your city take a fucking back seat take a back seat because you're not helping anybody in the community and nobody looks at you as a leader except for the people at work and no one sees you as a leader at work they pay you to be there so it's a job so take a seat if you really want to help people, give back to the community, start helping the kids, start communicating better because it's embarrassing for you to have this energy of wanting to be a leader and thinking that you're doing such a good job and you can't even keep a relationship healthy. Okay. So my thing is this person moving forward. Okay. Also have the three cups. So I need to know about the three clubs. What about the three cups? Three, moving forward, harmony, what? Celebrations, coexisting. Um, three is completion, mind, body, and soul, and alignment. Um, three atoms, like what? Creates, or it's six. It's six electrons, six protons, and six electrons, protons, and neurons create but you know but that's half of three so it's just like it's it's half of a cycle that's already there this three to me is representing that this person is like halfway through like their karma this three is showing me because i know it's different it should be like a celebratory card but this person i'm just being honest with you this person thinks that it's a celebration and what is it really Tell me about the Three of Cups, please. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, this person is going to try to celebrate the moving forward by being with somebody else. Okay. 
and this is how they feel they literally want to go out and go be with people and what why why do they want to do this why do they want to do this I'm taking the first messages I get today because that's what it is. I thought I was going to clean my car today, y'all. I have to go to work tomorrow. So I guess I got to wear a sweatsuit. Um, why does this person want to do this? Because it's almost, oh, they're moving back to their ex as well because the chariot card is going back to that way. So I'm pretty sure they're going to try to talk their edge and reach out their ex. But you know what? I did that when I was dating somebody new, but I feel like the new person, oh, I guess that's the same thing. So yeah, cheers to that. Um, In my last relationship, my last dude wasn't helping me financially, but he always wanted me to be around and I needed someone to talk to and confide to. So I went to my ex and it wasn't really confiding into. It was more of like, I don't really have friends here anyways, like from my old friends to my new friends. Um, all of me and my ex's friends were all friends together. So I didn't have other friends outside of that. And I really thought that my ex was over me. And obviously I was dumb because I mean, can we? Sorry, I'm just joking. Let me stop playing around. <laughs> Let me stop playing around so much. Let me just get to the point. Um, but yeah, I could see that. Like if, if that were to happen to me, I'd be like, you know what? I understand that. It's the fact that um, my ex found it in my phone and he didn't confront me about it and try to fix the problem. He was just, you know, bitter. And it's always every situation. I'm not saying that this makes me better than people, but I think a healthier way of choosing like, conflict is to be upfront and be transparent because if anything it seems like you're lying and it seems like you're being um defensive and combative and argumentative and just everything that's on, under that scale um so my ex decided to confront me about it well he didn't confront me about it he confronted me in a negative way he also read my diary um and the stuff wasn't even about him like i have many relationships in my diet first of all i have many books and not just relationships make me feel a way about people okay sometimes it's interactions with friends sometimes it's people who are trying to hit on me sometimes it's you know frustrations that i have in my own life of things that happened way to me in the past and i think people think it's always about them like no offense y'all i could really care less about y'all it's the fact that you're in my life and you're interrupting my peace okay so I'd rather annihilate you and get you out of there and get you out of my energy than me have to move everything that I'm doing because you're trying to make me feel uncomfortable. And that's where the combat is in the energy of the spirits is which one of us is going to be able to take over the energy and that's going to be the ruling energy of the relationship. 46, 46, when I say that. Um, yeah, so let me get back into it. It wasn't the right thing to do. And... um. My ex also introduced me to women that he, because I, I could think that it was something rude, but he told me they pretty much get over the women that he introduces me to because when they're not together and they're cool and they're friends. And he introduced me to women that he fucked in the past and that he dated in the past and he tried to date in the past and wasn't honest about it. I found a bitch's ass in his phone and a whole conversation, how she didn't feel comfortable about it. And then she confronted him and didn't want to talk to him anymore. And the girl also had my name and it was the girl. Literally, he stopped talking to her the day he went to go pick up my friend from the airport. And then he met me literally like the day after. And so weird, because when my friend asked me, she was like, oh, you're dating such and such? Oh, wait, you, not her. He was like, he was, she, he was just dating somebody with the same name as you. And I was like, that's crazy. And I was like, really? And she was like, yeah, literally like in March. And I was like, it's April. So it's the fact that, you know, everything comes to light. He was putting me in situations where he didn't say, he said it was fine to, for us to be talking to our exes. My ex didn't have any beef with me and I didn't have any beef with him either. Just because I think you're not a good person doesn't mean that I have beef with you. Like having real beef means I want to do something about it. Ow, I didn't have any nerve or in my body that wanted to do something about it. Um, but yeah, me and him would hang out and um the ex yeah that i was dating before he found out about it he didn't like it but yet he felt comfortable with having multiple women that he dated and fucked in my face and say that it was okay so i'm just saying to each their own this person's gonna try to move on with somebody and i would like to see um the outcome what's the outcome because it's i know for sure that it's not gonna last what's the outcome first of all i'm so confused that's what came out but it didn't flip over um, what's the outcome of this person thinking that they can move forward? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask a little bit more specific questions because I've been on here for a while. What is the outcome of this person thinking that they can move forward? 
I'm awkward. Yep. Anything else? What's happening in this connection? And when is it coming about? When is this coming about to like... I want you guys to have the most upper hand on this situation. This person's already suffering and they're going to do things. They're going to do what they want to do anyways, right? So how can you guys stay protected? Let me see. What else is happening? What's going to happen? I want this person to feel embarrassed because they think that um, they think that you're nothing. They think that you they, you wouldn't have anything without them because you they spend money on you and you didn't have anywhere to go and you didn't you know people don't like you but they forget that like a lot of people like you they're just not stepping in because they respect your boundaries you know what i'm saying so let me get one last card y'all what's going to be the outcome what's going to be the outcome of thinking that they can move forward because i feel like it's very hasty my ego is tied around money Woo. anything else anything else yeah what is going to be the outcome what's the outcome what's the outcome come on spirit i gotta get off of here soon i'm just gonna choose one if one doesn't come out because these all flipped over but oh it's like love triangle i don't think you guys are invested anyways like What's going to happen? I'm just going to pull one in three, two, one. Okay. Ooh, it's going to be on and off. On and off. Multiple sexual partners. And you're a crybaby. And in three months. Woo! So, yeah. Um... I think that you guys should do what you need to do. This person's going to do what they want to do. Um, I didn't know you cared is what they're going to say. Love triangle. And I'm comfortable where I'm at. Ooh, I put work before us on purpose. One more. Ooh, I did it and I felt no remorse. Um... Well, collective, I'd like to give you something as of what's gonna what's gonna change the collectives. Um, no, I don't even want that. You guys, again, I'm going kind of I'm going dark on this. Um, what's going to move you guys to work? Because a lot of people like to talk about love and light. This person's still sending you negative energy and trying to hurt you. Um, spirit, what can the collective do to completely annihilate this person? I don't think we're playing fair here. So please let me know what the collective can do because some people like myself are mature enough to have conversations. Okay. I don't know. I like you more than a friend. You complete me. I'm sorry, please forgive me. Ooh, so what are you guys gonna do? Collective, what do you what should you do? Spirit, give me the answers of what the collective should do. Look, give me this person's trying to make you feel a type of way. They don't see you bothered. So they're gonna do whatever they can to get you out of pocket. What does what what can the collective do? What what should the collective do? What should the collective do? I'm like, come on, come on, give me the cards. What should the collective do? 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 Do, 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 do. What should the collective do? It says strip club again. Do I go to the strip club? Do you guys go to the strip club? Most of you don't, and that's not everybody's vibe, so come on. I'm confused. I'm numb. Spirit, give me... I have cards in here that will explain what the collective can do. This person's trying to make them feel sorry and pull on their energy after they do something wrong. You're too good for me. Don't interfere. Tell their spirit guys to stop interfering. Okay. 
I called Yash I call Yeshua into the room to protect this reading so I can tell the collective what to do in peace. No other outside energies can interfere with this reading. I am exposing the enemy. Ooh, dramatic. Okay. So you guys should be dramatic. I think you guys should treat them like they're the greatest person ever. I think you should be like, oh my God, like, oh my God, like, thank you. Like, you're so good to me. Like, thank you so much for showing me this. Like, oh my God, like, you're right. I was such a terrible, you, thank you. Like, you should have, you should have cheated a long time ago. Like, I was treating you horrible on purpose. Like, you should have treated, you should have cheated a long time ago. Like, me being a good person is the number one reason why you should cheat. Like, you should cheat some more. Yeah. Like, no, of course, I'm faithful, so I'll never cheat on you. But, like, you should go cheat. Like, I think that you should do things like that because it's going to make this person feel so stupid that they cheated for no reason. Okay? I rake my brain for answers and it's and still don't know how to fix this. I wanted you to find out. Ooh, so they're doing things on purpose. So I hope this message finds you guys well. They're very egotistical. Um, they want to keep their feelings a secret, but they're still in love with you. Self-love is not selfish, y'all. And I hope you find this message well. I think I might do a part two if I get more um, questions that I'd like to ask just because I think it helps you guys out. Thank you so much for watching this reading and I'll talk to you later. Bye.